Welcome to this webinar that will look at return to work as a treatment modality in the context of the clinical framework principles. The clinical framework for the delivery of health services has now been adopted as a definer of reasonable intervention by all national third party payers, including those within Victoria, such as WorkSafe Victoria, TSC and Comcare, as well as the allied health peak bodies, including the Australian Physiotherapy Association. For further information about the clinical framework, please refer to the relevant information and guidance materials in the WorkSafe Victoria and TSC websites. The clinical framework is a best practice framework with a set of five guiding principles for allied healthcare professionals delivering services. The principles apply to all workplace and transport accident related injuries and apply across the treatment continuum from acute to subacute to chronic injuries. Traditionally, return to work has been regarded as a goal of treatment. However, it can be considered that return to work is indeed a treatment modality in itself, and that encouraging and facilitating return to work can be consistent with the five clinical framework principles. The five clinical framework principles are, one, measure and demonstrate the effectiveness of treatment. Two, adopt a biopsychosocial approach. Three, empower the injured person to manage their injury. Four, implement goals focused on optimizing function, participation, and return to work. And five, base treatment on the best available research evidence. Let's look at each principle in a bit more detail. Principle one, measure and demonstrate the effectiveness of treatment. Most physiotherapists are now familiar with the use of standardized outcome measures to establish a patient's level of function at a point in time, and more importantly, to establish whether functional change is demonstrated with these measures over time. Change over time can be an indicator of treatment effectiveness. Return to work measurement can be used similarly to establish a point in time level of function, functional change over time, and an indicator of treatment effectiveness. Change can be noted in a variety of ways. Demonstrable measures of improvement can include returning to work in any capacity after being off work, increasing lifting capacity from 5 to 10 kilos, or return to pre-injury work. Principle 2. Adopt a biopsychosocial approach. The clinical framework suggests that healthcare professionals must consider biological, psychological and social factors when managing an injury. The FLAGS model has been used to identify the various risk factors. Encouraging and facilitating an early, safe and durable return to work after an injury can be biopsychosocially beneficial and is consistent with this principle. Principle 3. Empower the injured person to manage their injury. Educating your patient on the health benefits of work and setting expectations that return to work is beneficial is consistent with the principle that empowers your patient to manage their injury. It is also important to empower your patient to be more control of their injury at work by having an understanding of their certified restrictions and to work with suitable duties that match their certified capacity. Principle four. Implement goals based on optimizing function, participation, and return to work. You'll note return to work is mentioned in this principle title. Here's an example of a return to work goal directly from the clinical framework. The SMART goal notes to return to work in two days on modified duties with a lifting capacity of up to five kilograms. Focusing and encouraging return to work is clearly consistent with this principle. Principle 5. Base treatment on the best available research evidence. A focus on return to work after an injury is underpinned with compelling evidence suggesting that work is good for your health and well-being, and that unnecessary and prolonged time of work is harmful physically, psychologically and socially. In other words, biopsychosocially. 
In summary, if your treatment was to encourage and facilitate an early, safe and durable return to work and measure progress over time, then this would be consistent with all the five principles of the clinical framework and could be considered as a reasonable treatment strategy. We hope you enjoyed this webinar and you've had a look at the others in this series. Remember that due to the physical, psychological and social benefits, we really should see return to work as treatment rather than a goal of treatment.